Good evening, and welcome to the Union County College Foundation's Virtual Scholarship Reception. My name is Doug Rouse, and I have the honor of not only serving as the Foundation's Executive Director, but with my wife, Elise, also a Foundation Scholarship donor. Our hope was that last year would have been our last virtual reception, but we have all seen over the past two long years the trajectory of the virus changes, and our main priority is to ensure the safety of our donor family and our scholarship students. For this reason, we are hosting this virtual scholarship reception to let you know how important your personal investment is in our mission. Though we have seen many dramatic and drastic changes in our community and our nation over the past two years, one thing continues to be constant and unwavering, our foundation's commitment to our students and our mission. Thanks to your support, our foundation will again provide over well over $1 million in scholarship and grant support to hundreds of our students. Over the past eight years alone, we have invested nearly $10 million in our students. If you ask me, this is truly a worthwhile investment. Not only are we helping to plant the seed for future success, we are ensuring our community continues to grow and become more prepared for the future. During these very uncertain times, our donor family came together to ensure that our students' economic reality is not a roadblock to their academic success. Tonight, we will hear from a couple of our scholarship donors, a key member of our financial aid team, who works directly with our students to distribute your scholarships, and last, from one of our grateful students who will speak for all of this year's scholarship recipients. Like a broken record, I feel like I've said this too many times over the past two years, but I'll say it again. I wish we could all celebrate together this tremendous outpouring of support for our students. But until we're able to come together safely, please know that we'll continue to ensure that your support has the greatest impact on student success. To begin our virtual reception, I'm pleased to welcome Union County College President and scholarship donor, Dr. Margaret McMiniman. Greetings, everyone. I'm Dr. Maggie McMenamin, president of Union County College. Welcome to this virtual scholarship reception. I want to thank all of the scholarship donors for everything you do for our students. Your donations are making a difference to thousands of Union County College students who are crossing the finish line and graduating at a record pace. You know that this pandemic has been challenging for all of us. COVID has impacted all of our lives, particularly our students who have struggled. But they know, each one of them knows, that they have the donors of the Union County College Foundation helping them along the way. Your donations, your scholarships have helped students in each of our programs from all of our communities. And we know that these young students who are graduating from Union County College entering the workforce and going to four-year colleges and universities are the future of Union County. They are the future of the state of New Jersey and they are the future of the United States of America. Thank you for everything you do for helping to create a brighter future for our students and a brighter future for all Americans. You are accelerating the pace of student success and we are collectively transforming our community one student at a time. Thank you so much. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you a man who is a citizen volunteer, a member of our Board of Trustees, and the chairman of the Union County College Foundation, Plainfield's own Larry Bash. Mr. Bash. Thank you, Dr. McMiniman. I would like to start off by thanking you, our donors, for your continued and generous support of our foundation's scholarship program. Though we have not had an opportunity to come together in two years, thanks to you, our scholarship program continues to provide the necessary funds that are needed to help keep our students on the path to graduation. I have been directly involved with our foundation for a number of years, and I have never been prouder of our ability to impact students' success more than I am today. I have seen firsthand our scholarship program grow into one of the largest programs in the state for community colleges. Even during these most troubling times, our foundation has been a beacon of support to hundreds of our students. Thanks to you, a single mother in Elizabeth and a first generation student from Hillside, 
now have the opportunity to change the course of their lives. Thanks to you, we are truly impacting our community and ensuring a better life for so many through education. As a scholarship donor myself, I am always impressed with those who received my scholarship. And in reading the notes of thanks, I understand how my scholarship has affected their journey. Tonight, we will hear from one of our scholarship recipients who will speak for the hundreds of students helped by your generosity. One of the highlights of our scholarship reception has always been the welcoming of our newest scholarship donors. Tonight, I have the great honor to welcome these individuals and companies to our donor family. Jim and Maggie Campbell Scholarship, Brian Campbell. Dr. Selena D. Carter Scholarship, Dr. Selena D. Carter. Alba Castro Vida de Figueroa Memorial Scholarship, Jose Paez Figueroa. Rachel Copel Dare Scholarship, John and Rosemary Brown Family Foundation. Parker Enix Ross Memorial Scholarship, Deborah Enix Ross and Rodney Ross. Oliver Franklin Scholarship, Caitlin Valise. The Gadella Rogers Scholarship, Caroline Gadella Rogers. Glasser Foundation, First in the Family Scholarship, the Glasser Foundation. Handsome Energy Systems Scholarship, Handsome Energy. Hillside Lions Club Scholarship, Hillside Lions Club. Aaron Quebec Scholarship, Gina Quebec. Kennedy Porsche Family Scholarship, Teresa Kennedy Porsche. Lown Family Scholarship, Dr. Maris Lown. Clinton Miller Jr. Scholarship, Clinton Miller. Nevesi Family Scholarship, Nevesi Family. Omega Psi Omega Book Scholarship, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. James V. Ortuso Memorial Scholarship. Mary Zengo, Overlook Foundation Nursing Scholarship, the Overlook Foundation. In Larry Paragano Sr. Memorial Scholarship, Eileen Paragano. Alexander Polnariev Memorial Scholarship, Dr. Bernard Polnariev. Respect, Diversity, and Inclusion Scholarship, Betsy and Alan Havison. Rebecca Royal Student Success Scholarship, Friends and Family of Rebecca Royal. St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, Early Childhood Educator Scholarship, Father Daniel Gum. Lenny Andre Williams Scholarship, Lenny Williams. Young Alumni Committee Scholarship, Young Alumni Committee. The Foundation Office will be sending a donor pin to each of our new scholarship donors. Please wear it with pride, knowing that you are the difference in a student's life. In closing, please know how much we appreciate your support. I hope that you feel a sense of pride knowing that your philanthropic support is having an immediate and real world impact. I wish you all the best, and again, thank you for your generosity. Dr. McMiniman, thank you so much for your leadership during these very troubling times and for your generous support of our foundation. You've helped further our mission by your example and dedicated commitment to all of our students. To my volunteer partner and favorite Cub fan, Larry Bash, our foundation and college are a better place due to your personal commitment to our mission. Thank you for all that you do to ensure that Union County College educational experience is open to everyone in our community. Next on the program, we will run a roll of our scholars. You will see a list of all the scholarships as well as the students helped by them this past year. During this portion, you will also hear from key members of the scholarship process who will share with you their experience from donation to award. Hi, I'm Tom Karcher. I set up a scholarship called the Karcher Bridge Builder Scholarship. It's an annual scholarship for people in the ALC. Hi, I'm Susan Oshesky. Tom, Thomas and I are married. Uh, I've been donating scholarships to Union County College for a number of years. I was blessed in my life and I found um, that I had saved enough, earned enough in my career to be able to give back to the community. And there are many charities that I could give to that are very good, but a number of them are very large and who I give to for what 
when they receive it, how long it works, I just don't know. The wonderful thing about giving scholarships to Union County College is the recipients get them almost immediately, and they can be used to complete their courses and get their degree. And at the end of that, they, they actually get not a job, but they have a career as professionals. And they bet, that benefits not only them in terms of income and increased security for their families, but it impacts their immediate family and their upcoming family. And also the community benefits, and it's not just any community, it's our community. So it makes me feel so good to be able to do this kind of giving within my own community. I'm truly blessed to be able to do that. I'm a second generation donor to the college. My parents started a scholarship in the mid 90s. And we were privileged enough to be able to come with them to some of the scholarship events and got to see in action the value the scholarships made mm -hmm. in students' lives. And what was really impressive to me was the fact that in many cases, the students coming through this college are first time students in their family to ever go to college. And the impact it makes, not only on that person, but for generations to come in that family is unbelievably positive. And so that's what moved me to want to donate the scholarship was to say, look, this is such a powerful thing. And as Susan said, in many ways, you're changing an entire trajectory of a family for generations and also the community. And if any one person can get through and get a degree, the impact it has is astounding. And for me, it's an, it's an incredibly positive thing to be able to do that, be blessed enough to have the resources to do it mm -hmm. and just make that impact is quite an honor in, in my life and a blessing. Mm -hmm. So we're just lucky enough to do that. And it's nice to see the students get their um, scholarships, the awards, and actually graduate. And um, to see them and meet them is a real treat because in my sense, my, my one of the inspirations for my scholarship, mm -hmm. The Bridge Builder, was a poem I read way back in college that talked about someone who did something for someone they're never going to meet. In many cases, the students who are going to benefit from our scholarships, we're never going to meet. Mm -hmm. So to have a chance to hear from them, meet them now, is a blessing to us now. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're just, we're very blessed and we're so happy to we meet the students when we can, but if not, just to... Actually, we got we received letters this year, yeah, which was also right. quite an honor. And it just, it, it just really helps us know that we are making a difference. We're happy to do it, and what a wonderful way to do it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. My name is Sarah Carrero, and I am the Associate Director of Financial Aid here at Union County College. One of my primary roles is awarding foundation scholarships to students who are in need. We receive inquiries daily from students who all have unique circumstances. So one story that comes to mind for me is a student that I met my first week here at Union County College. She is an adult student, a single mother, who is really struggling to find the means to get through school. We were able to match her with multiple scholarships that kept her on track to graduate. And I just would like to share a piece of her thank you letter. She says, I am extremely th grateful for the help you have provided. I started my nursing program not knowing how I was going to make it. As I went, went through each semester, I got miracle after miracle, and you are a part of that blessing I encountered. Your generosity will be felt forever. Thank you from my family. Thank you from my children. Thank you from my heart. You have changed a life, and you are a blessing. I was able to meet this student in January after she graduated, and she could not believe that she was able to complete her degree with the resources provided to her by the foundation. We would like to thank the donors for their contributions to the Union County College Foundation. It is with your help that we're able to continue assisting students in their educational journeys by removing a barrier. We're helping hundreds of students every year, whether it's an 18-year-old who is new to college or an adult student who is trying to get back to school to complete their degree to enhance their life. We're able to help them achieve that goal with your generosity. Every day that I'm able to award a student a scholarship, and see the joy that it brings them knowing that they're able to complete yet another semester towards their degree makes me feel really good about what we're doing here at Union County College and we thank you. Hello, my name is Robert Barboza. I am a first year engineering major at Union County College and tonight I want to share my story with you. I was born in Montevideo, Uruguay. 
uh, and emigrated to the U.S. at an early age where I was raised by my single mother along with my younger sister, who I love more than anything. You wouldn't know it then because we were always fighting, but we grew remarkably close and as the older brother, I was both her babysitter and her friend. However, as I got older, I became much more. My mother was unable to fully care for us while I was in high school, and I knew that if I chose to go to college then, I would be robbing my sister of her opportunity to do so. In my junior year at Elizabeth High School, I dropped out and managed to receive my GED. During this time, I thought little of myself, striving only to become an unwavering pillar that my sister and my mother could lean on. I had to put dreams and, go and goals on hold to provide a more comfortable life for my family. It was not long before I started taking care of the family bills and encouraging my mother to focus on her health and guiding my sister through her teenage years. As many know, dealing with a hormonal teenage girl is challenging to say the least, but watching her grow and develop has made for the most fulfilling years of my life. I lugged around heavy furniture for a living, and it was only a matter of time before I got hurt. A table the size of a pickup truck slipped from my hands and fell on my foot, breaking both bones clean in half. I had never experienced pain and fear like this in my life. I was the main income earner. I handled all the expenses. I could not afford an injury like this one. I cried that day. I did. Not only out of pain, but also out of overwhelming dread. It was the first time I had ever truly needed help, and I learned how hard it is to manage on your own these days. I always thought of myself as an unmovable pillar, tall and unbreakable. For as long as I can remember, I had been the person others relied on. But on this day, and for many months thereafter, I would come to know how it felt to depend on my family and my friends. I realized here that I couldn't continue working this way for long and that I needed a long-term solution. Union County College has offered me that solution and has given me the opportunity to chase an engineering degree, something I've always wanted to do but never thought I could. Today, I am in my second semester in pursuit of an associate's degree. However, when I first started, it reminded me very much of challenging times in my past. Along with the general doubts and the anxiety of going back to school after six years, I was also becoming incredibly nervous about paying tuition out of pocket. I worked the graveyard shift while trying my best to ace 16 credits worth of classes, and I remember thinking how unsustainable this was. I worked evenings after class and spent the nights doing homework do that very morning. It was common to find myself at the college's academic learning center with heavy bags under my eyes, trying to encourage the very few brain cells I might still have left to cram for an exam. I came close to giving up on school for good. It is thanks to the foundation and to people like you that the old Robert is not the person you see today. The scholarships I have received have changed my life. First, I was able to quit that graveyard shift, and I am now working at the same academic learning center that had helped me before. As a peer tutor, I help others today. Second, I now have this room and the mental peace of mind to be more focused and involved. Although I struggle with understanding chemical kinetics just as much as the next guy, I can boast of a 4.0 GPA, being a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and of being involved in college life. Finally, I get to spend quality time with my family, and I have learned that my happiness stems not from the accomplishment, but from a deep sense of purpose, a purpose that comes from my service to others, to my community, and to myself. I am proud that I am a positive role model for my sister, showing how important uh, family, hard work, and dedication to oneself really is. This is just the beginning of my story, one that will continue to grow because someone took a chance on me by supporting a scholarship. But my story is just one of hundreds of others that you might hear around campus. Tonight, I speak for everyone your scholarship supported, and I want to say thank you for your generous contributions to the Union County College Foundation Scholarship Program. It is truly is having a real world impact on our community and helps expand the mission of the college by transforming our community one student at a time. I am certain with your continued contributions, hundreds of students will continue to benefit from your help as much as I did. Thank you again and good night.
Hi, my name is Luana Rampalotti and I am from Hillside, majoring in Mechanical Engineering at UCC. I'm here today to say thank you for the scholarship and through, because of the scholarship I made this far at UCC. I'm admitted to University of Michigan and waiting to hear back from Harvard, MIT and other Ivy League schools. Thank you so much for making my educational life so much easier and hopefully a bright future to me. Hi, my name is Danielle White and I'm original from Kingston, Jamaica, but I currently live in Scotch Springs, New Jersey. I am a recent graduate of the Winter 2022 class and I just want to express my sincere gratitude to the UCC Foundation for helping students like me. You see, as an immigrant, life can be challenging sometimes to navigate life in the U.S. and just finding people who believe in them. But you saw something in me and you believe in me and because of that I was able to excel greatly um, beyond more than I could ever imagine. I was president of the Hospitality and Tourism Club, I was VP of scholarship for the IOTA Zai chapter and I was involved in many other clubs and because of your generous support I was able to do just that. I didn't have to think about tuition or stress about tuition or anything so that time that I had not to think about my tuition or work extra hours I was able to you know get involved in campus and just be my true self and not stressed about certain things so because of your generous support for helping students like me and many other students out there. I just want to say thank you. I will actually appreciate it and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Jake from Winfield Park. I'm a current student here at Union County College and I'm graduating this semester. I'm a business major and I'm hoping to transfer to Harvard or Princeton University to study economics. My goal is to open up a nonprofit after I finish my MBA and because of your scholarship, I'm able to focus more of my time into academics. Because of that, I'm able to pay my rent, pay for food, and put more of my time towards school, and not have to pick up a side job just so I can make ends meet. I just want to say thank you again for allowing me to get this opportunity to put more money and focus more of my time onto my education. Thank you. My name is Sibel Francois. I'm from Haiti. I live in Springfield, New Jersey. My major is computer science. Um, today, I want to thank you, everyone, you know, for all the scholarships. Um, they have made a huge difference in my education here at UCC. And um, also, these scholarships, you know, they mean a lot because it's like saying, you know, like you're doing great here at Union County College. Keep pushing for it. So again, thank you very much for your huge help. Hello, my name is Ori. I'm a business major here at UCC from Springfield. And I want to thank you guys a lot for the scholarships. It really made a huge impact on my life and my academic career. Um, receiving those scholarships helped me re reduce my mental stress and uh, focus purely on my academics. And hopefully next year I'll be attending Rutgers Business School. And again, I can't emphasize enough. Thank you guys so much for all your help. Hi, my name is Sebastian Salazar. I'm currently a sports manager major at UCC. I'm from Elizabeth, New Jersey. And I'd really like to thank all of you for all your support throughout my academic success. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Your funding has helped me tremendously to really focus on the academics of this college life and not the financial side. Uh, I really thank you for all the support you give to me and to all the students in the Union County area and I just really want to thank you. I, yeah, I can't say more than that. Thank you so much. Take care. First, I really want to thank Susan and Tom for sharing their story with us. A big thank you to Sarah from our financial team for giving us a small glimpse of how one scholarship can impact one student. But Robert's story is, much, is not much different from the hundreds of students who've been impacted by your support of our mission. And it shows how important your support is, now more than ever. Our foundation is the final safety net for hundreds of students in need. One of the most important aspects of our mission is to ensure that all in our community have access to an education. It is the foundation for which we stand. Only together can we truly make sure that no student is left behind. When we all look back at this moment in time, history record that we did not sit idly by, that we stood together to face this challenge, to help the most vulnerable in our community, have an opportunity and the resources they need to succeed. 
on behalf of our foundation board, and more importantly, the students you've helped, I thank you for your generous support that will have a generational impact on our community. In closing, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite quotes. Helping one person might not change the world, but it could change the world for one person. Because of your generous support, you are changing the world for one person, which will not only impact that person, but their family and our community. As always, if you have any questions or concerns about your scholarship, how your support is impacting our students, or how you can make a greater impact on their lives, please do not hesitate to contact our foundation office. On that note, I wish you all the best and hope to see you in person soon so we can all celebrate our successes together. Good night.